This view from the view was published first in April 2006, but I've tagged a thought on to the end for this 2023 video. When I struggled to learn new music, my singing teacher would say, stop trying to add something of yourself to what Mozart's already done. Just let him speak through you. To my teacher, a professional singer, every pupil is a channel through which a composer can speak to the listener. She is of right, of course, yet despite her admonitions, I don't know if I have ever let the composer speak through me. I guess I am just not confident enough in my technique to let Mozart, Haydn, Williams or Bach weave their musical magic to the, on the listeners. However, the idea that the singer is a channel through which great men and women can still inspire us today can also be applied to the written word. Nowhere is this more true than in the words of the Bible and in the Book of Common Prayer and of course in hymns. The Book of Common Prayer's cadences and the spoken music of the prayers move me profoundly. A good reader, and we are lucky to have one or two good ones in the benefice, will allow the words of the prayer book or the scriptures to speak through them. Whilst listening, I hear the full gamut of human concerns, hopes and fears. I hear despair, yearning and joy is expressed as the wisdom of the past is shared with us today. The prayer book particularly raises concerns similar to my own and I find common cause with those who now form the communion of saints. I can never, however, forget that the vast majority of this communion are not saints at all, but are like normal church congregations today, a gathering of sinners who have relied on the saving grace of God for salvation and the gift of eternal life. That commonality, however, I do carry forward into extempore prayer, which I use when chatting to God, and even when leading intercessionary prayers at Evensong, that is until I was cancelled from doing that earlier this year. Some churchgoers, however, prefer extempore prayer, which is made up as it goes along. This type of prayer is also sacred conversation but can also have the funny moments, as was the case when a member of a small chapel was praying for those not as fortunate as we are in England. He was doing quite well until he warmed to his theme and then tried to scale up his thoughts from the parochial to the global. He was a humble man and a saintly man but his thinking did not stretch to high politics or international matters, which meant that he was struggling to find words for a magnitude appropriate to his global theme. Finally, he explained, Bless, we earnestly pray, O Lord, all those of us in the Northern Hemisphere and those in the Southern Hemisphere, but do not forget, please, Lord, those in the Middle, in an instant, my thoughts turned to the people who lived in that newly discovered space between the northern and southern hemispheres. <laughs> what did they look like? What was their diet? Did they use the Book of Common Prayer or prefer their prayers extempore? These questions quickly dissolved and faded away as I realized that were it not for extempore prayer, <laughs> I would not even have known of their existence. All this goes to show that sometimes repetitive prayers from the prayer book can enlighten the mind, as can extemporary prayer. Thank you for watching and do please hit the subscribe button. But for further information on the prayer, you can watch the video on this same channel. Thank you again. Amen.